welcome back. So I recently asked you guys to send me some questions for a future Q&A video and many of you guys asked me questions. I was not expecting these many to be honest with you, but you asked and you shall receive. Um, I got some from Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and I also recently just asked you guys on Snapchat, so hopefully you'll be featured at the end of the video. Also, if your questions weren't answered, this video is probably because I already asked in my previous Q&A, so I'll leave that down below for you guys. But without further ado, let's get started with the video. Alright, so let's first start with YouTube, and if you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading the questions from my computer. But first question is from Peace Love Kathy or Katie612. She says, What is your favorite nude brown lipstick and lip liner that you use? Love the shades that you use. Um, thank you so much. My current favorite nude combo has to be these two right here. If you ever catch me wearing nude lipsticks, is this two. This one is Jordana Coco Loco lip liner. I also like Terra Kiss and Rock and Rose because Tawny is just a little way too light for my skin tone. And lipstick, I like using um, Mad Naked in the center. Obsessed with this. I mean, can you tell? I'm like way done with this, but I haven't found it in stores, so I'm, I'm dealing with what I have. Yours truly, Diana asks, are you currently in school? What career would you like to be in five years? I got a bunch of college and school questions, but I'm currently taking a break. I was going for media communications. I might go back, but I also might just go for acting school this fall, not sure. And in five years, I would love to be working in TV, anywhere like in TV, either hosting or maybe YouTube if it's still going on in five years. Jazlene Reyes asks, how was the Miss RDX experience for you? Were you nervous, confident, do you expect to win? Love your videos, I hope to bump into you somewhere in New York City or hopefully meet and greet. Thank you so much, I hope to meet you as well. And while the Miss RDX experience was amazing for me, I learned and grew so much after it. I was 17, the youngest one out of the group and had zero to no confidence whatsoever. I was so insecure, but it definitely helped boost up my confidence a lot. I was nervous, I'm not gonna lie, I was so, so nervous, just because girls there were so prepared and beautiful compared to me that had zero to no experience um, in pageants, and did I expect to win? I was actually first runner up, I didn't win that night, but like they say, what's meant to be, it's gonna be, and a few months later, I got a call from the Miss RD US organization letting me know that I was a new queen because they decrowned the girl, I was definitely not expecting that to happen, but I don't regret it at all, and it was an amazing experience. Damaris Esmeralda says, what attracts you to a guy, by the way, you're amazing. Thank you, and what attracts me to a guy? I would have to say, physically, smile. I think smile is a huge thing. Like, if you have a really nice smile and perfect teeth, you got my heart. Oh, and arms. Like, if you have big, manly arms, oh, you got me. And if it's not physically, I would have to say how passionate, determined, and romantic a guy is. Next question is from Gigi. She has a few questions. She says, whatever happened to your updated project? Are you currently dating? If so, what's a 411? LOL. What is your all-time favorite lipstick, lip gloss, liquid lipstick? And other than YouTube, what do you do for a living? So, my updated closet. I think I showed you guys how it came about in one of my um, Vlogmas videos. But if you want, I can give you like a little tour or how it is right now. It's not the best because it's always forever messy. But, um, yeah, that's that. Um, are you currently dating? No, not. <sighs> Team Forever Alone. Henriera Owutsu, I think? I'm sorry. As you guys know, I'm terrible pronouncing anything in life. But she says, my question is, do you ever feel insecure because you don't have big busts? Because I always feel down about myself and where possible I stuff my bra. Not anymore. I was when I was younger, though. I was kind of bullied in high school because I was so tall, so skinny, and so flat everywhere compared to other girls. So I always wanted to get my boobs done when I was younger. That's all I thought about. But I'm glad I didn't just because I like my itty bitty titties now. I just feel like they look more flattering in certain outfits. I think small boobs are great, but don't get me wrong, I do stuff my bra and wear push up bras from Victoria's Secret, which are amazing. But if you do feel insecure, I encourage you to just rock what you have because everyone's different. But if you you want to get your boobs done get them done girl that's gonna make you happy do it I personally won't just because the pain that you have to go through and then the fact that you have to do them over and over again after a few years I'm not about that life and also have you thought of like how amazing it is that we're like itty bitty titties in the summertime and we don't have to worry about like how hot it's outside and how sweaty everything gets I'm telling you team itty bitties Next question is from Blanche Paris, I think you pronounced it. She says, are you really moving to Miami? When? Why? Also, are you talking to anyone? Um, I really want to move to Miami sometime at the end of this year or beginning of next year, most likely next year. And because I just, um, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I'll miss New York, but I just want something new, fresh, start all over again, kind of like that, you know? 
And am I talking to anyone? Romeo, of course. Jamel Fontana says, what's your advice to deal with the haters? P.S. I love your channel. You're beautiful. Thank you. Um, advice to deal with haters. Just don't face them, you know? I mentioned this in my last Q&A, and I'm just the type that I don't give a damn crap about a few things, about a lot of things to be exact. But on a serious note, just ignore, don't acknowledge the person, because it's honestly going to bother them even more. And if you're happy with who you are and what you're doing as a person, you shouldn't care what other people say. Alicia Robinson says, do you plan on getting your own place, or is that a few years away? I do want to move out sometime soon, hopefully in a year or two. Maybe a year, or maybe two, just because it's really expensive to move out here in New York City. That's why I want to move to Miami, but I still have to save up either way. Alicia Jenny says, what size is your bed? And it's actually a twin, as funny as that sounds. I still have a twin size bed. I'm just used to having a twin size bed, but it just doesn't bother me, to be honest with you. Plus, this bed is perfect for my back, for my scoliosis. So basically, when I lay down, it shapes my body. I don't know the proper name of it, but that's why I just never really thought of getting another one. But I do want to get a full size bed with the same method sometime soon. Karen Liz says, have you ever attended a beauty event in LA or just been to visit? No, I haven't. I want to go to LA so bad. I wanted to go to BeautyCon this year, but that didn't happen. So definitely the next beauty event, I'll be there. Jaja's PR blog says, ¿Qué país te gustaría viajar y por qué? Saludos desde Puerto Rico y me fascinan tus videos. Ah, hey girl. I would love to go to Puerto Rico. I feel like Puerto Rico is so beautiful and so similar to DR. But thank you so much for watching me from there. But aside from Puerto Rico, I would love to travel everywhere, honestly. I would love to go to Argentina, Mexico, Australia, Cuba, just everywhere. Europe, ah, just, I want to go all over the world. Shenandoah Barajas, I think you pronounce it. I am so sorry for butchering your name. She says, if we ever do a meet and greet, I would love to do a meet and greet. I just don't think many of you guys would want to go or would go. But let me know in the comments below if you want me to do one, and I'll gladly do it for you guys. Either somewhere downtown New York or if that's something fun for us to do, so let me know in the comments below, and I will gladly plan it for you guys. Moving on with Instagram, I actually got a lot of questions. I was not expecting these many, to be honest with you. So let's get started, because I feel like this video is way too long already. First question is from It's Negra X3. She says, what is your hair care routine, and how do you keep your hair looking flawless on hot summer days? Girl, the struggle is real out here. I swear, summer in New York City is the worst. One of these fans, it's a lifesaver to be honest with you. I take it everywhere with me. But um, yeah, I stress my hair a lot in the summertime just because my hair, my hair is naturally straight. So whenever I want, like if I want these loose waves and curls, sometimes it just doesn't hold a curl or gets frizzy. But if you want a hair care routine, let me know in the comments below and I would gladly do it for you guys. But right now, my favorite um, shampoo and conditioner is from the L'Oreal Total Repair 5. I like the shampoo and conditioner, I just don't have it. So I also use this deep conditioner thing and um, another shampoo and conditioner that I like is the Swap Professionals. This one, this line is amazing and I like switching shampoos from time to time just because your hair gets used to it. Next question is from I like Anisha. Anisha, she says, where do you get your clothes from? Boutiques online. My favorite online sites are She Inside, Runway, ASOS, Forever 21 online is really good as well. I like Misguided. There's a bunch of sites that I really like. Um, if you want me to make a full separate video on that, also let me know in the comments below. I think that will be a fun video and helpful. I like finding out new sites as well, so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see one of those, and also what are your favorite sites. Emily Peralta says, what are your summer must-haves? Love you and your videos. Thank you, love you too, and uh, my summer must-haves. I want to film a summer essentials, but I just feel like it's way too late already, but summer must-haves, let me show you guys real quick. I just quickly pulled a few things that I really like right now, but I do have a long list for my summer must-haves. But first is this waterproof mascara, the Miss Mango one. Amazing. The Avene Thermal Spring Water, great for those hot summer days to just like refresh your skin. And this to 10 is the Subline Sun Sunscreen, 30 SPF from L'Oreal. And for my face, I like using the Silky Sheer Face Lotion. 50 plus SPF as well from L'Oreal. Julesi Nunez X3 says, what's your major? What college do you go to? I'm not gonna say what college I go to, but I'm currently taking a break. I do go for media communications. No, I made Jeanette, I think you pronounce it. She says, what's the biggest challenge you've ever had to overcome? And I have a few, but my biggest challenge definitely has to be my back surgery when I got um, scoliosis surgery. It was one of the hardest, toughest times of my life, and it was just really depressing, very stressful time went so slow for me it was very painful i can make a full video on that if you guys would want me to it's just a really touchy subject for me but definitely one of the hardest times of my life overall i feel like it has been one of the toughest challenges for me but i feel like it has made me a lot stronger for sure little abc says have you ever played a video vixen in a music video what has been your favorite likes experience so far 
who are some YouTubers that you would love to collab with? Video Vixen, I don't think I would ever, but never say never. And life experience so far, I would have to say competing for Miss DR in the Dominican Republic. That was a lot of fun and I made great friends. Um, who are some YouTubers you would like to collab with? There's so many people I watch here on YouTube. So, so many. But I would love to collab with Diana. She's a really great friend of mine. Also, Natalie's outlet here on YouTube. Kathleen Lights, which I'm so proud of her. We basically started the same, but she is like above and beyond amazing. And yeah, there's many YouTubers I would love to collab with. No, Emmy also asked, what would you advise girls with low self-esteem? I mean, I could totally make a separate video on this because I personally went through that very very badly but something that definitely helped me was not compare myself to other people or point out my flaws or things that I didn't like about myself and also just watching videos on YouTube helped me a lot like learning how to do my makeup properly or just getting pretty not for somebody else but for yourself that helped me a lot but let me know if you'd like me to do a separate video on that and I will gladly do it for you guys Celia CYR says what is the perfect boyfriend to you do you find him I love you so much you're my inspiration I miss your makeup and outfit videos love and support you from Paris Ah! Oh my god, how awesome! Hi Celia! And uh, thank you so much for watching me from Paris, by the way. That is incredible. I would love to go to Paris. But, um, perfect boyfriend. I don't think anyone's perfect or that you should be looking for the perfect boyfriend because then that person's never gonna come along. But someone that I think would be perfect for me would be someone that's romantic, respectful, and funny, for sure. Sense of humor is like a top must for me. Sarai09 says, ¿A qué edad llegaste a los Estados Unidos? Yo tenía nueve años. She says, at what age did I get to the United States? And I was nine years old. Underscore Jazzy X3 says, where do you see yourself in five years? P.S. I love you. Love you too, Jazzy. I see you commenting all the time. By the way, I really like the fact that many of you guys have the X3 at the end of your username. It's like twinning. But um, five years. I've gotten many of these questions and it's really hard for me to answer just because I don't like looking ahead or planning. I like things to happen. But five years, I would be 26. And... Oh, old kind of but I definitely see myself working in TV either acting or hosting or maybe YouTube if it's still here me B A zero says what are four things you can't leave without and also when you go again to Nuestra Vista Latina I don't know if you mean leave like leave my house without or live but if it's live I four things I can't live without I would say my phone food mascara and my hairspray oh and if I would do Nuestra Vista Latina again I personally won't but never say never you never know what life brings along but right now the answer is no for sure Yvonne underscore 903 says where do you see yourself in five years is there anyone in the makeup industry who you look up to what are some of your favorite NYX products that is your favorite makeup line by the way I mean NYX is not technically my favorite line but it's definitely one of my top drugstore lines NYX L'Oreal, Maybelline, and Milani are my top, top favorite. Right now from NYX, my favorite product has to be the Highlight and Contour Palette. This thing is amazing. I use it every single day. The banana powder and the darkest shade to contour. Phenomenal. And also their micro brow pencil. It's pretty great. It's what I have on my brows today. Love it. Is there anyone in the makeup industry that I look up to? I mean, there's so many amazing people, especially on Instagram. I love Vegas Nay. I love Amrezy. Amrezy is the bomb. I also like Desi. Uh, who else? There's so many amazing people. I can't point, pinpoint one. Diana Chantel says, what am I seeing in your face in real life? Hey girl, hey, I miss you so much. But we do need to hang out. Let's go get Starbucks or shopping together. Let me know. Love underscore CX says, what eyeliner do you use the most? What's your favorite drugstore nude lipstick? Um, favorite eyeliner? I'll be right back. Favorite eyeliners, I have these two from Milani. This one is the Supreme Cold Kajal Eyeliner and I also like the Liquid Like Eyeliner. But if you're talking about liquid liners, I like the NYC liquid liner. Amazing. And favorite nude lipstick, I mentioned this earlier. It's also from Milani. It's the Matte Naked. I'm not sponsored. I just love those. Miss Kiwi says, other than YouTube, what would you have been doing? What high school or college did you attend? From what part of DR are you from? Choose one. Doing your eyes or doing your lips? What is a product everyone must have? Um, that's a lot of questions. But other than YouTube, I'd say I'd be modeling or finishing college right now. And what high school did I go? I went to JKO, Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, downtown, near Times Square, if you're from New York. What part of the R am I from? I'm from Santiago. I was born in Santiago. Um, choose one, doing your eyes or your lips. I'd say doing my eyes because I could get away with not doing all that stuff. And what is your favorite product everyone must have? Right now, I've been loving the Naked Skin line, but the concealers are amazing, especially for the summertime. I've been loving the medium light for my under eye and then medium dark to cover my imperfections. But on a serious note, this is a product that like I could literally eat every day. My hair is from L'Oreal. Next question is from underscore J.Flores. She says, what is a good moisturizer for oily skin? 
but it's also a good makeup remover. Love ya, love you too. And my favorite makeup remover, I like using cleansers to remove my makeup, but when I'm not feeling too lazy, I like using the Bioderma. This thing is amazing, and it's actually for oily skin, so definitely try this out. I have the original miniature formula, but this one, it's perfection for oily skin, and it takes your makeup off like no joke, especially the water. And moisturizer, I don't think this is necessary for oily skin, but I've been loving it, and I'm going to oily skin. This is the St. Eye Time to Skin Moisturizer. Amazing. This hydrates your skin like no other moisturizer has. It lasts a long time, smells good, and I love it because it doesn't feel greasy. It just sets really nicely in your skin. Try it out. Burger Lord says, if you'd rather leave your house with your hair natural and unstyled every day or have to maintain it as platinum blonde, love you. Love you too. And well, I have a friend that's a platinum blonde, so I know that the struggle is real. So I would definitely rather have my hair natural and unstyled for a whole year. Jazzy underscore Mary says, how was the Romeo concert? When are you coming to Miami? Can't wait to meet you. Can't wait to meet you as well. Hopefully sometime soon and the Romeo concert was amazing. Like every other concert, I vlogged it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Genesis Rosa says, personal, have you ever fallen in love with so what happened? Makeup, top two favorite eyeliners and why? And three mascaras, hair, current shampoo and conditioner, you might recommend. Uh, have I ever fallen in love? Not really. I've liked someone a lot but never love, I feel. Uh, top two favorite eyeliners, I mentioned already, it's from Milani. Can't find it right now. Can't find it right now. Top two favorite eyeliners, I mentioned them already. They're from Milani. And mascaras, I like the Miss Manga Rock. Uh, better than sex and telescopic amazing mascaras the fashion by AJ says what else would you like to do besides YouTube I would love to do anything TV related or interior design for sure the term in Latina says what are your goals in life what do you wish to accomplish with YouTube can I meet you one day I'm from Jersey and I absolutely love your channel thank you girl love you too what are your goals in life as cliche as it sounds overall I just would like to be happy with what I have and everything else what do you wish to accomplish with YouTube? I mean, it has brought so many great things to me already, but I'm not doing this for the fame or for the, the products. Honestly, one of the best feelings is knowing that you have helped someone or helped them smile with a simple video, either help them like do their makeup, or if you're having a bad day and my video helped you somewhere or the other, that to me is the most gratifying feeling ever. So my next questions are all for my best friends because they just decided to be annoying last night and ask a bunch of random questions. Love you guys, love you. Carolina.cs, which by the way, follow her, she says, what are your closest friends and what has made you close to them and why? Well, my closest friends are, you know this answer already, Carolina, I love you guys. <laughs> she also asked another question to make me feel uncomfortable, which she knows the answer of. She says, what would you choose, being stranded on an island with Jay Balvin and burping every time you're going to speak to him, or meet Romeo Santos and accidentally lose your two front teeth in front of him? Really? Really, Carolina? So for those that don't know, I love Romeo and J Balvin. J Balvin is like my new bae, and this is the hardest question ever. But I would have to choose losing my two front teeth in front of Romeo, because burping every time you speak to J Balvin, really? Oh, really? I could play it off and just play the victim and be like, whoops, my two front teeth are falling. You're gonna have to take me to the hospital and come with me, you know? Underscore Catherine Munoz says, what's your favorite foundation? And right now, I am loving the Naked Skin from Urban Decay. Love this. Igvani X0 says, would you rather wear a push-up bra all day, every day, or stiletto heels all day, every day? Stiletto heels all day, every day, girl. Push-up bra every day? Damn, that's hard. Fancy MT Diva 2314 says, you have a kid or body, what's your diet and workout routine? And first of all, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But um, yeah, I don't do much. I, I, don't, I don't eat healthy. I don't go to the gym. I'm honestly just blessed with a fast metabolism, which I'm glad because if I wasn't, I would be like 375 pounds. Nothing wrong with that. But on a serious note, I don't work out or eat healthy. I do want to get back to it though, so whenever I do, I'll make you guys a workout routine video. All right, so moving on with Snapchat questions. I have a few. I don't know exactly how to do this, but hopefully you guys can see yourself. And let's see, Brit Neva. You're beautiful, hey girl. And she wants to know if I have any guy friends or anyone that I'm dating. I, I have a bunch of guy friends, but no, I'm not dating anyone right now. Single life. Natalia, I wanted to know how tall you are and let me have confidence to wear high heels because I know you love them and well, you're pretty tall and I'm shy. And I would be so much. Ah, you're so 
beautiful. Oh my gosh. I am 5'9". I'm really, really tall. I used to be beyond and above insecure of my height. But yeah, I learned to love them and get over that insecurity. And I honestly feel like heels give me so much confidence. So, girl, don't be shy and wear your heels. Hey, beautiful. Casey the Mystic here. Just a quick question. What do you do personally for overall skin health? Like face wash, stuff like that? Oh, well, hi there. That's Casey, guys. He's competing for the Mr. Organization pageant. He wants to know what's my skincare regimen. I will be making a skincare video pretty soon, but definitely cleanser, scrub, and toner are a necessity for my skin. How old are you? Oh, Famous.Taja says, how old am I? I am 21 years old. Hey, girl. Alright, so that was all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This has definitely been one of the longest Q&A I've done. And if you have stayed till the end, I love you from the bottom of my heart. But let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make one every month. That way the videos are not this long. Thank you so much for all your questions. I honestly love the Snapchats way more. I just feel like it's so cool to get to like talk to someone, kind of, you know, more on the personal level. I don't know. I love that about it. So make sure to follow me on social media so we can be connected that way. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And see you next time. Bye! Am I currently dating? I got a few questions on that, and no, I'm not. I'm actually married, for those that didn't know, to Romeo. But on a serious note, no, I'm not dating. Oh, no. And by the way, the only reason I'm answering these questions is because they threaten me to unlike every video. So go and comment how mean they are. The last video, but honestly, Jesus. Rude.